designing the course was a way to build community. Hi, I'm Shannon Hahn. I'm from Durham Technical Community College in Durham, North Carolina. And I want to talk to you about my Spanish reading composition course. We started the course online this semester to meet a need for enrollment issues, and we only offer it once a year, so we needed to find a way to make it accessible to students. So in designing the course, we, I started from a complete course redesign. I wanted to, since it is a reading and composition course, it's possible to just kind of do that on your own and not, not really be involved with someone else, especially in an online space. So I wanted to really use what I could to create a community in the classroom and have students discuss and interact with each other even though it's online. Um, at the same time, I have students with very different levels of language skills and technology skills. So I wanted to find ways to level the playing field and really allow for that individualized learning so they could um, set goals for themselves in the course that no matter where they start from, at least they're, they're going to show that they've had progress in this course. Um, so if a you know, native speaker who their Spanish is very good, maybe they're really more focused on their writing skills and the style of what they write. Whereas someone who doesn't have as much language skills, maybe their real need right now is working on grammar. So I was looking for ways to, to leverage Sakai to be able to do that. So um, what I ended up doing was um, building in any possible way to offer comments in the course. Um, I used a variety of tools. They had a, um, lessons on a weekly basis. They had to do blog journaling, so where they were writing blogs, responding to prompts about themselves and about their um, reading strategies. And in those, all of those areas of work in the course, they would comment on each other's work. They would respond to each other, and, and really they did discuss the way I wanted them to. They built a community in the classroom. Um, more than I had really ever imagined they would. It was wonderful. Um, the students really appreciated the course. They, the positive feedback, they liked the level of feedback they got from me. I really did make a point throughout the course to be present. I was very active in the comments and all throughout the course. I posted videos of myself talking about things related to the course and in the semester. So I wanted to be there. It wasn't, I didn't want them to look at the course at any point and say, well, where did she go? Um, so I was very involved throughout the semester and they appreciated that. They, they saw the level of comments that they got and really felt that they were helpful. Um, the other thing was they really felt they developed their skills and not just their language skills. Um, they were exposed to things they really had not been exposed to before. Many of them were native or heritage speakers of Spanish, but they hadn't really ever learned about Hispanic authors. And so they were excited. They really connected with the course on that level. And they um, really improved their technology skills, which was not something that you normally expect out of a Spanish course. So they, they um, showed a lot of improvement and much more comfort with the technology by the end of the semester. I feel much more confident thinking about online language at this point. It's something I have been very cautious about doing. Um, not uh, hesitant, not the right, really cautious about how I wanted to put our courses online um, in a very intentional way. I didn't want to just throw things online. And I feel like now that's a possibility. Um, I feel like I understand a little better how to work with the tools and how to get students involved, not just you know doing simple tests and and um, doing something kind of on their own in isolation, which is very important for me. I want to I want to recreate what I do in the classroom online as far as how I treat my students, and I feel like that's I I have better skills for doing that now. Nowhere near perfect. It's going to take a long time to, to tweak and to fully work with that, but I definitely feel like I can approach that now.